Hello, people. Oh, I hit my head. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to Freddy's Pizzeria. I'm fortunate enough to be recording this right after episode one. We served pizza to this lovely blue bunny right here. Bunny bunny. And now we're going to be serving pizza to this lovely chicken and this handsome looking fox. So, let's load game. Slot one, level three, and let us. Hey, that looked like the characters in Pet Scop. What a great reference. Uh, we saw Fritz last episode, and now we just saw Pet Scop reference. That's incredible. Hey, what's going on over here? Yarr seems to be like our newest private behold by himself. This is, um, Snake Peak for the Ultimate Custom Night Voices episode, which, by the way, I was about to say it's coming soon, but I haven't even gotten close to recording it. Oh, are you two... Ahoy there, land lover. Ye be welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Lando Pizza. What's ye name? Uh, well, thank you. My name is actually... <clears throat> Chica's voice. Right, um... I don't even want to attempt it, so I'm just gonna... Because <laughs> I know the second I try to do a high pitch voice, it's just gonna go... Right down that hill, you know? It's just gonna keep. It's like that snowball effect. It's gonna start off really, really bad, and it's just gonna keep getting worse. But, I'll give it an attempt! Gonna get it. Gonna be extremely embarrassed, but whatever. And now I've hyped it up way too much. Nope, I don't even wanna try it. Hey, hey, hot stuff. You're the new, uh, pizza tender phone guy told us about, right, right? Uh, yes, he told me you guys would come. Yay, I can't believe we get to work with such a hearty serving as pizza on break. This is the best thing ever. You know what, I'm gonna do, um, Felix's Edgar voice. Yeah, ye look the part of the good cook, of a good cook. But sure ye be up to the cooking standards of old Fazbear. I can certainly try. Got anything in mind for your order? <laughs> I love Chica's enthusiasm. Oh, oh, do me, do me first. I'm starving. Gotta, gotta, Disney. Alright, well, what can I get you? Hmm, don't know. I'm just gonna keep switching between voices for Chica. Don't expect it to be consistent. You don't know? Oh, my tummy is grumbling, but I can't decide what to eat. That's a weird looking model. Um, it just likes eating, you know? Yo, well, meat, he looks like Eevee Piggy for the last on this one. Want some advice? I sure would like some advice. Bird lads who loves to be upbeat and cheer. Get her something from our menu that'll make her happy and that be enough to satisfy her. I, 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 I reckon. Happy pizza then. Ah, shoot. Um, happy. Shoot. Type. Happy. Pepperoni party. Fishy business. Gentle giant or fun guys. Let's go with fun guys. That, that really sounds like a ripoff of five guys or like... We found a Euro train wreck in the back alley one day. This was the result. Uh, suffice to say, it's a marginal improvement. Awesome. Ingredients. Three cheese. Two tomatoes. One. Two. Three. One. Two tomatoes. Five mushrooms. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Three greenies. One. Two. Three. And then two olives. Yes. Nope, that's onions. One. That's exactly all it can hold. Oiled. Oil. One, two, 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 three, and stop. That doesn't look right. I'm just gonna say that didn't look right. One, two, three. One, two. Five mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five. Three greenies and then two olives. One, two, three, two olives. One, two. Oil. One, two, three. Open. Is that it? What the freak? What the hell? <laughs> that doesn't look right at all. Yay. Yatta. That's it. Hot stuff. What? This will do just nicely. Glad you liked it. Say, lad. How ye spiced a little green bird flying around ye side of the sea today? A, a what the f is he talking about? I can barely understand him. Me bird lad that there that there old sea dog be running a rig on Captain Foxy, ye see. I can't find him anywhere in this 
on this here forsaken fortress of cheese and chicken. Methinks he must be grouped in some air vent in the sky, just laughing at myself like I be some kind of fool. Either that there or he be actually lost. Case be then, I must find him at once. So are you looking for a bird or a sea dog? Um, me bird, of course. What could he but get? Belch rat? <laughs> Fox is talking about his parrot, um, buddy hot stuff. So we've been looking for him all day. Did you happen to see him? Oh, no, not really. I only got here like two hours ago. Down it. Wait, is this parrot an actual living parrot or another robot like you guys? Completely real. Foxy adopted Birdie after phone guy left the back door of the restaurant open for one night. The little dude just snuck in and started eating all the olives. He, uh, got a bit sick afterwards. Oh my god, what the heck? What is wrong with you? But Foxy just- Oh, that's your natural icon, sorry. fuck? <laughs> it looked like you were, like, bleeding. Foxy just took him and nursed him back to full health in no time. Now you be one of them. Outside performances, anyway. Yay! Yatta! We aren't really allowed to perform alongside a wild animal on stage, or at least Phone Guy says so. Yog, got a brilliant idea, lad. Can you cook me one succulent treat to bait me bird to come out hiding? Bait, you mean. <laughs> bait? Bait, you mean. I mean, sure, which one do you have in mind? Yeah. Me mate likes the green demon veggies a lot. He'd probably get something filled to the boss of them good fruit. So something green and filled with vegetables. Got it. Something green and filled with vegetables. Um, uh, we'll bought it. No, flavor. Um, something green and green, um, green, green face. Five greenies, one olives, one... Oh god. I um, don't know about this one. Green and vegetables. Yellow, no. G. What's green face? Or did I already look at that one? I think that was the one I looked at. Gentle giant. Six cheese, four tomatoes, three mushrooms, three olives, three ham, and one onion. I think I'm gonna go with the other one. Green face. Two cheese, three tomatoes, three mushrooms, five greenies, one olive, and one onion. Yeah. One. Two. Ooh. We could try and make it big, but we'll do that afterwards if we have enough. One, two, three tomato. One, two, three mushroom. Five greenies. One, two, three, four, five. One olive and one onion. Can we fit more? We can. One onion, one olive, five more greenies. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry, what am I doing? Three, one, two, three, three tomatoes and two cheese. Three and then two cheese. Fits perfectly. Oil, gotcha. One, two, three, stop. Green, oh, look at that, that looks happy. Yeah, that's be it, lad. There, this here be the perfect bait for such a scurvy and sneaky bird. I'll just be off for a moment to place this right here where it needs to be, be right after with the private. Oh, yeah. And there he goes. Hey, hot stuff, let me ask you. Why do you want to work in this place anyways? With me, I, uh, I just want to save up on some money, I guess. Hmm, are you sure about that? Yes, I mean, why are you looking at me like that? Hmm, no reason. You just look... A bit familiar, I guess. If you don't want to say why, that's fine. <laughs> we can just talk about it. Something else. Like what? Well, what do you think of Phone Guy? You've been talking with him a lot, right? What's your impression of him? Phony, well, he's cool, I guess. A bit of a type, kind of stutters a bit, but it's not really annoying. He's a... Well, I mean, he has a phone for a head! I mean, I didn't say that, though, maybe in a different way. <laughs> Guy has a gigantic red phone in place of a head. You can't sandbag that. It's not even like one of those new smarty pant pantsy phones that you gotta touch the screen to play around with. It's like a really old one. Do they even make those anymore? Well, I'm sure they do. Do you happen to know why his head is a fucking phone? <gasps> oh crap, I just swore. You just swore! <laughs>
Please don't tell Phony I did that, I am, I'm not supposed to. Yes, don't worry there, hot stuff. It's fine. I was just surprised that you had it in you to swear in the first place. Phone guy certainly doesn't. All he can do is like, heck, or darn, and stuff. Oh wait, he doesn't say stuff. He's just exaggerating about that no swearing stuff. Swear if you like. Nobody, nobody really minds it. Huh, really? Isn't this a family-friendly restaurant? I mean, yeah, sure, it is, but like, anyone who comes here nowadays swears like a sailor themselves. As long as you don't do it in front of phone face, it'll be alright. Except, well, also don't swear in front of children. Of course. Well, that's just common. Who knows? One might eventually uh, happen to wander around here. Keep your eyes peeled. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Speaking of sailors, I see Foxy coming around the door. No, prepare yourself. I, I love this game, but one thing I wish it has, or wish it had, was multiple choice. So it's like, you know, oh, let's change the subject. What do you want to talk about? You know, family, career. I don't know. I wish it had that. Yo ho ho, it be all done now, mateys. What be the topic of conversation? You lot be engaging under while I've been away. Oh, nothing much. We were just wondering why Phone has a phone. Now, anything about that? Know anything about that? Er, uh, gee, I have noticed that their supervision of ours does have a mighty jolly looking task. Even for a walk and talk with Fox with a with a hook and an eye patch, at that there does look kind of silly. Y'all, I once tried to ask him, him about it directly myself, but the scurvy dog be as delicate as a sea potion made about it. <laughs> Maybe just change the topic to something ridiculous like, oh, I've been responsible for the little paper boats that they clog in the bathroom sink. Yeah, sure you didn't. Though, I'd be guessing if he was cursed by a horny creature of the sea to have a piece of plastic as he head for the rest of eternity, he'd be pretty touchy about it as well. There you have it, hot stuff. Stop calling me that, it's kind of weird. None of us really know what's up with folk guy either. Damn. Oh, no, this is me. Damn. Oh well, it's not like I'm dying to know answers. Hey, you're finished with your pizza. Would you like another one? Another one? Well, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, da, just. Foxy, let me share it with you. We can order one launch for the both of us. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure, why not? What's in your mind, Lass? Oh, oh, something spicy. Something big and spicy. I want to try a big spicy thing. Something, uh, big and spicy coming up then. Alright, big and spicy. Type. Um,. Why is there not one food spicy? Uh, oh, heat. Short. Oh, that's how I mean spicy. Gotcha. So, for those that wish to eat the flesh of it... Oh, wait, maybe we don't do that one. Green face, no. Yellow demon. So even the absolute monsters can have something to eat in our own menu. What does that mean? Fishy business. Gentle giant. I'm guessing spicy means charred, so I'm going to go with... Um, yellow demon, devil, because why not? It's charged, and it needs to be big. So, six cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two tomatoes. One, two, three, four. I mean, four tomatoes. Four ham. What's ham? Un, un, dun, trois, cat, sink, see, set, wheat. There we go. And then six pineapples. All right, twelve. I got this. Un, dun, trois. Cat, sank, cease, set, wheat, no, dis, ons, dues. So, we can't do that. Dang it. Oh, shoot. I have to reset it as well. God dang it. Oh, 
Alright, so we need to find one that's simple. That's 16 cheese, you can't do that. 3, uh, let's see, 6, f uh, 10, 20, 6, 28. There we go, we can do that one. 3 cheese. 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 tomatoes. 1, 2, 1, 2. 5 mushrooms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 greenies and 2 olives. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2 olives. 1, 2, 1, 2. So, charge, and that's it. 1, 2, 3. How did I burn that? Oh, I didn't boil it. God dang it. Boil, charge, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Five mushrooms. Uh, I can just go until it's full. So that's five, one, two, three, four, five, three greenies and two olives. Five dot. One, one, two, three, four. So cook it. One, two, three. How? I don't get this. Do we need something? Hey, you can't do that many ice. Or can you? 16? Oh. Uh, two, I mean, an anchovy. Anchovy! Right, uh, boat. What is- th I'm slightly confused. 20 mode. Uh, I'll become a huge challenge even if it's cost of taste buds. That's funny. Pizza Sim. <laughs> I get it. Bit of sweet, but fitting. Oh, that's a line from Pizza Sim. This game has good references. Alright, I'm gonna find a pizza that walks and I'll be right. Hey, find a pizza that walks and I will be right back. So it's been all about two seconds and I just decided, hey, why don't I try sorting my flavor? I found spicy. <laughs> Drain rack. This is the one I... This is the one I had. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Two. At least I think this is the one I had. Oh, no, it's not. Two, all... Oh, nope, three greenies. One. Three greenies. Two olives. One, two. One. Two, two onions. Oh, one, two, one, two, and then six ice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Charged, oil, and then also bone. So let's just wait a while. <laughs> How's your guys' day going? Da da da. I'm actually confused right now. Can I find the thing again? I'm so confused. Comedy special, I guess? I can't even do that one. Mosh pit. That one's impossible, so it has to be train wreck. I mean, that's funny, but I don't get this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Three greenies. No. Six. Two olives. Oh, olives. God dang it. Two onions. Two, three, four. And then ice. One. Oil charged. I actually am super confused right now. I'm just gonna keep losing money. Oh, it's spicy. What? I think I broke it. Are you freaking kidding me? That's what it means by burnt? I thought you had to wait more than three seconds. 
am so freaking mad right now. I lost so much money because of that. Oh man, this one looks like a mess. I wonder what it tastes like. Y'all, only one way to find out. Um, so, how was it? I think we have to go now. You have lots of places to be around here, you see. We'll catch up later after Freddy's done talking with you. With your hot stuff, so and so ya around. See ya around. Yar. Who else is gonna come? Now? They're gone. Now what am I going to do? Oh well, time to take a break, I guess. Trusty, trusty phony phone. Please don't run out of batteries on me. It's four. Let's save. And we're going on to level four now. All right then, eggheads. What? Time to cook pizza and change lives. I mean, what? I wonder how well I'm doing. Phony said that my performance is being recorded, so where are the cameras? I don't see any. Is there anyone under the counter? No, huh. Oh. White smell of rotten broccoli. I wonder if it was a good idea to come here today. Wait, then they didn't walk on this project. Well, welcome, I welcome to Freddy's Pizzeria. Can I get you anything, Nick? One yellow devil, if you could. Anything for you, dude? That's probably a nod. Uh, one yellow devil, then. <laughs> that's that's a great cameo, by the way. Name yellow. Yeah, they are working on the other um, game jam thing. It's called Chef Wanted, I believe. One, two, three, four, and then six minor. Nice. Charge. One, two, three. Yellow Devil. There you go, Nixon. Ah, oh, yes, this will do just nice. Pineapple? Really? Yeah, I love this one. It's one of my favorite kinds. I wonder if that's true in real life. Pineapple on pizza is a crime against nature itself. Why the Who would do that? It's not like I said that I did that in the first one. If it were up to me, I'd tape a do not serve the sticker right over the pineapple button on this machine. If I could Hey, it ain't all bad. Exactly, he knows what's up. Um, sweet and salty things can mix well together, and it's not like you are eating it raw. You have to put it. It. You have to put the thing in the oven first. But it's still food on a pizza. Ah uh ah. -uh. But tomatoes are also a food, and that's like in every pizza ever. It's not sucks. Okay, fun guy. Have you at least tried out how it tastes like even? If that book's cover says something like, this book is awful, do not read this book, this is only for smelly, edgy teenage girls, then of course, I wouldn't want to read it. Or you can't judge it for the people who do read it. Maybe what's in the cover is not the full story. What if you actually do end up enjoying it, but you are missing out because you think it's not for you? This is a good life lesson right here, Nixon. You are full of great ideas and life lessons. Then that book should have had a better free 
cover something that just doesn't make me vomit by its mere mention. Oh, come on. Now you are just exaggerating. He's very emo. Who? Me? Or the oversight emo is funny with a... Actually, um, Nixon actually dropped his fedora and sunglasses, if you haven't noticed. He is now a man with a mask. Nick, at least in my opinion. Ugh, whatever. So, uh, are you two regulars of the restaurant? Well, I am. I've been coming here for five years every month or so. A meal here isn't new, but he stopped coming after he got out of the middle school. I invited him out today so he can see how the place is going to open up sometime. You ate a meal? Uh, yeah, I guess. It was quite good. A bit smaller than I remember. As long as the pizza is good, I don't mind. As long as the pizza possesses good, as long as good is in the possession of the pizza. Sorry, I'm just I like to critique things. You know here, right? Haven't seen you before. Yep, first day in fact. It was supposed to be my training day where I got to learn how my station and stuff worked, but uh, my teachers kind of ran off on me. Ah, well then, guess you have us now. You are missing. You are using a model two th two thousand or after a model two thousand two hundred. Model two thousand. Your machine. You are using a unit two thousand pizza making machine to cook, correct? Oh yeah, it's a unit two thousand two hundred on the span of thinking. Your figures. You should probably consider changing it. Those things have been uh, obsolete for quite a while now. The is that a G or six? I think that might be a a G or. A 6X100 and 6 are the newest models to come out, and they are far more complete than this thing. First of all, they aren't bound to just pizza. They can make all sorts of food. Fries. Lasagna! Lasagna! Cheesy meat and nothing but a lasagna! I apologize. I just got excited. Fries. Lasagna, ice cream, soda, and even sometimes some alcoholic drinks. They are also much less bulky, I guess. I just don't get how you can keep such a technology. It doesn't even have the ability to increase the size of orders without having to put in extra ingredients or having to stick to one kind of food. I know, right? I, uh, I mean, I guess. Emil, you are smart. I, uh, I guess you are right. Don't really know how much this thing much about this thing. We even read the manual, in fact. I did read the manual! Episode 1! I guess I could bring it up to my boss when he gets here. Sorry if that came off as weird, I just thought since you were doing this job, you'd be interested in this sort of thing. I guess. That's- it's fine. How do you know so much about it? Oh yeah, Neil has been working at a burger joint for a couple of years to save up for college! He works with these kinds of machines all the time. That is an excellent nod to candies. That's awesome. Yeah, I also kind of like have these things. I know I like how these things are made. I mean, you're interested in how they work. Yeah, I guess I also do a bit, although I'm more interested in the software and operating system side more than the physical machine components. Is that like a nod to Nixon using like um um God, I forget what it's called to like do his games and stuff? I can't remember. I spend most of the time working on freeware projects that I distribute online. I have a site where I host them and people can try them out with no added cost or required subscription. All of them are experimental though. There was this one that could track your computer's internet temperature so it could bring it down without the need for cooling. That's pretty cool. But that one kind of resulted in my test wings bursting into flames from time to time. I spent two years on it before I just abandoned it. Freeware, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to just... Yeah, it's supposed to just be for fun. I gained a following, though, that since not many people distribute quality freeware online. Well, yeah, why would you make something good and give it out for free if you could just sell it? Even if it's for fun, you could still make money on the side doing that. And people interested in your product would still use it, even if they'd have to spend a bit on it. Yeah, I guess you're right, but... I feel I should have just a bit more experience with this sort of thing before asking for people's money, you know? Hey, 
I just realized. Huh? What is it? You said that your boss was coming in a moment. That's pretty fast. Yep, he's coming to decide if I should keep working or not here by the end of my shift. Huh. Haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, pretty kind of we treated away from the restaurant after the end. Belly Fuck of 87. I wasn't there when it happened, but I heard it was quite serious. Despite uh, the quite silly mon 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 moniker? Moniker. It was very serious. Freddy fell off stage and landed right on top of the kid. Broken ribs, shattered legs. The kid was stuck in the hospital for months. I thought it was gonna say the kid was stuck in the ground for months. And even in, after getting out, he kind of uh, took a very long time to recover from the whole thing. When I heard, the robot itself didn't suffer a scratch from the whole ordeal though. It kind of puts in per into perspective how so did they are uh, despite looking so soft. <coughs> the restaurant apologized profusely to the parents of that kid, but they still ended up handing them one big lawsuit. I didn't understand it back then, but I remember this whole place feeling vaguely off for months after that incident. So yeah. That kid's alive though, right? The one that, uh, got crushed. Oh yes, it wasn't a deadly thing, thankfully. He's probably living the life of a normal adult. <coughs> a normal adult. A adult nowadays. <coughs> What's his name again? His name? Oh, uh, Michael, I think. Michael something or other. I don't quite know. Poor guy. Hey, uh, this conversation is kind of bringing the mood down. How about you order something now? Me? Oh, sure, I could go for something now. How about a, uh, fishy business? One fishy business, please. You don't have to repeat it for me. Oh, but you talk so quietly, though. Nobody can hear you through that skull. It's gonna be away in front of your mouth. It's a bandana. Exactly. I totally called it. Whatever. Hey, uh, pizza guy, you there. Well, well I guess you ordered something, right? Yeah, right, on it, will do. What was it again? I totally, uh, blanked down. Oh, see, it, like, throws you off. It was fishy business. That's what it was. It's not, its name is not in reference to any, um, seating activities going at the back of Freddy's during Friday nights. Alright, three cheese. One, two. Three cheese, two tomato, one, two tomato, three olives, one, two olives, two onion, one, two onion, three shrimp, one, two, three shrimp, and three anchovies, and oil, and one, two, three, open. Fishy business. Now that hits the spot. Did I just pay two? $50 for a pizza. Glad you liked it. I still can't handle the stench though. Of what? The pizza? No, just the place in general. You should get someone to sort for dead rats in the vents. I'll uh, probably get thrown into doing or something. We should probably go now, Nick. Aw, oh, already? But we just started to have fun. We'll come back again tomorrow. Probably, if you want. So, you do still like it here? I knew it. Alright then, it's tomorrow we're See you later, pizza man. Yeah, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks, please come back again. I want your money. Well, that turned out great. I made two new friends. Yep, all alone again. I'm gonna swear. Is, is that a direct doggo I hear? Doggo. Hey. This game is full of so many good references. Oh, it's a dog. Boy. Um, wait, are you a customer? Oh. Dog. He winked at me. <laughs> I did, look at it. Bark, bark. I guess you must be sorry, shouldn't have judged your um, cognitive abilities by your appearance. What would you like to order, sir? Um, doggo? Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> I have no idea what to, what to get from this dog. Flavor, salty, sour, crisp, crispy. Let's try type. Special. 
special mosh pit. Maybe. Oh god. I don't know. Let's look at these. Best pizza. Comedy special. Green face. Gentle giant. Fishy business. Fun guys. Lone Le leaning tower. Neat mania. Ooh, probably that one. Um. Uh, yeah. I think we're gonna have to go with meat mania. Six cheese. Please, two tomatoes. Two tomatoes. Five pepperoni. Uh, five ham. Okay, get all the ham. Five shrimp and then two anchovies. I will not stop making that reference, by the way. Charged. Cook. One, two, three. Open. Meat mania. So, uh, here's your order, I guess. Bark. Oh, you enjoyed it? Bark, bark! I'll take that as a yes. Hey, what is this dog doing here? Employee, are you feeding a dog? Bark. Shoot, go away, you mutt. Get on at him. Don't chew away direct. Bark, bark! Employee, what were you thinking? Why did you give that dog pizza? It looked like it was, he was asking for something. Employee, that's a dog. We can't waste materials on a dog's. But, but it looked like a customer, though. It had a crown. It even winked at me and just assumed it was a customer with some speech impediment. And a lot of fur. Employee, I know we, get, we have customers right here, but there's a difference between uh, funny-looking customers and, and a dog. You know? And besides that, who would the gosh darn heck stuffed a pizza down into the vent? It reeks around here. Oh, the boss is not going to be pleased. He's not going to be pleased at all with this. Oh, oh no. What, what is it, Emily? It's five minutes till five. You said Freddy would arrive here. It's five already? Oh no, oh jeez, I, I don't even have time to probably scold you right now. I, I'll try to get rid of that smell as fast as I can. Try preparing your station. Make a good impression. Oh man, I, I can't believe this. This is not good. He's gonna scold me again. Well, I suppose this is it. Better check on some stuff before he arrives. Alright then, let's save. And that is going to be it. The final showdown. That will be next episode. Episode 3 episode. Here we go. Nope, we are going to quit. And we are going to end it here. So, that was episode 2 of Freddy's Pizzeria. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. There was a lot of cool cameos. We got Nixon, uh, the creator of a lot of games that I totally remember that he made. I, I know he made Joy Creation. I remember that. I believe... Was he also the one that made Marcos? I'm sorry, there's so many FNAF games out there. It's hard to remember who made it. Or who made what. But yeah, I know he made um, Joy Creation. There was Emil, who made the candy series, by Nest of Candies. Direct Doggo. At least I'm pretty sure that's a reference to Doggo. Um, because it has a crown on his head. Uh, that made the Nation Freddy's series. 